Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel K. If you are new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys 10 cute date night ideas if you live in Atlanta, or if you're just visiting and you just kind of need like a little, just an idea of what to do out here. I put together this list for you guys. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of this video. Shout out to your mom and dad for making you Stay in a vision, they did a great job raising you When I create, you're my muse That kind of smile So fellas, I know how stressful it can be Trying to find a nice little spot to take your girl to Or take somebody you have a little crush on And like, you don't know where to take her You don't have no idea You don't know what to do in Atlanta that's why I put together this list for y'all. And also why I wanna share with y'all these gummies that I have been taking recently. So these have really been helping with my stress. And honestly, like, I'm just gonna be totally honest. This is basically an edible, but this company is called Premium Jane and they mainly sell gummies. A lot of their products don't actually contain THC like this one does. It has, it's like CBD, which I, I've taken CBD before and I just don't really, that's not really me. Like, I don't really feel like it does a lot for me, but this one has THC. And when I tell you guys, I'll be gone. I'll be gone. If you like you some edibles and you really, you know, want to try these out, you can use my code. It comes in a pack of 30 and it's 25 milligrams. They're also vegan, so. The suggested use is to take half of a gummy every six hours or as desired. But the first time I took this, I took a whole gummy and I was, you know, I was feeling good. I was having a good time. The thing is like, I was stuck. Like if you take this gummy, don't do anything for the rest of the day. It's like an after work type of thing. Just relaxing, watching TV, get your snacks put together because you will be stuck. And I literally don't smoke as much as I used to just because I didn't like the whole feeling of smoking and it just was distracting me a lot. So with these gummies, I feel like it's a good substitute for that because I don't have to inhale the smoke into my lungs. But yeah, these edibles are just it for me. Honestly, like I don't take them too much. I take maybe like once every few days because I be having stuff to do. When I tell you guys you'll be stuck, yeah, but yeah, definitely if you guys just have been stressed out a lot or if you have a lot of anxiety, you just need a break from life for a little bit, take these, trust me. And this is the flavor in strawberry banana. I think this is the only flavor that they have, but you guys can also check out their website. I'm gonna link it below. I'm also gonna link my code. It's 25 Angel K, I believe, but I will put that in the description box below. But let's finally get right into this video. So I'm also gonna link everything, all these places in the description box below. So first place is The Select. So The Select, in my opinion, is one of the most prettiest restaurants in Atlanta. If you have a girl who, I mean, I don't know what girl doesn't love just pretty like flowers, pretty decor, just, a very nice ambiance it's such a cute vibe if you are looking for a place like that definitely go to the select it's located in sandy springs and honestly everything is up to par the food the drinks they usually have ladies night on thursdays i believe every thursday is ladies night and i definitely went there i got me a little drink drink it was really good it was strong too it was strong and um i also ordered their chicken their chicken I know it's just chicken, but y'all, the chicken, so good. You can't go wrong with the chicken. But I went there a second time and I got their short ribs. Wouldn't really recommend. I mean, it was cool, but it wasn't like something that I would order again. But their chicken, amazing. It's so soft and juicy and just... <laughs> the second place is Put Shack. A lot of people know about Put Shack. I really don't have to explain it too much. But if you don't know about Put Shack, it is basically an indoor mini golf course that's located in Midtown. And yes, yeah, self-explanatory. Mini golf course. They have like games. They have a bar. It's a lot to do. It's really like interactive, very chill. You get to just drink while you, you know, play your golf and stuff. It was, it was a vibe, honestly, it was a vibe. It was a little hard, it was a little hard, and I'm very competitive, but it was super fun. The third place is gonna be IPIC Theater. IPIC Theater is the one for me. I'm never going to another theater. Okay, actually, I'm lying, I'm lying. Okay, there's another theater I'll go to, but IPIC Theater 
it's just so nice they have waiters they have a drinks there they have food i had their lollipop chicken which was interesting i've never had lollipop chicken before but it was good it was good and then i think i had their sangria which was also really good that's also located in midtown and it's just super cute like it's a vibe it's so comfortable the seats are super comfortable i loved it 10 out of 10 literally i went there by myself too i did not care i went to go watch a movie and it was a vibe and i loved it the next spot is called silver spot cinema now with silver spot cinema it's literally the same as i picked there that's why i had to catch myself because i would go to this theater as well i've only been here once but it's literally a vibe it's the same exact like they have waiters they have uh drinks they have food they have a bar um and it's it's really comfortable it's cozy it's located at the battery if you don't know about the battery the battery is basically just a, a big old spot to do stuff and they have like a stadium there they have restaurants they have games they have shops stores you know places you can like really go in and buy stuff from it's really a vibe like even before you guys go to the movies you can just walk around the battery um or after the movies you can walk around the battery like it's just like so much to do you're not gonna run out of stuff if you go there so and that's located in marietta so yeah marietta is just maybe like 20 minutes from the city but yeah the battery is super popular if you've never heard about it and it's just a vibe up next is the reverb rooftop now the only time that i went i did not get any footage i literally probably got a picture of my drink and that was it because like it was a while ago and i wasn't really trying to do too much so yeah the reverb rooftop is super cute like the location is literally right in the middle of the city it's right across the street from mercedes-benz stadium it just has a really nice view if you sit on like the whatever it's called like the stools by the balcony it is just so just nice like you just sit there you talk you get to know somebody you drink a little bit like it's cool i didn't have nothing to eat though because i don't think i was hungry but it's super cute and yeah i'm gonna plug in somebody else's video that i found on tiktok because i really want y'all to get like an idea of what it looks like at least even though i couldn't get it for y'all but like yeah it's just is super cute like now this next spot i'm about to mention if you do not take your girl here you hate her you hate her like just admit it you just hate her because it's no way you're gonna be in atlanta and not take her to this spot it's just no way anyways it's called the juicy crab the juicy crab i just uh, <laughs> let me stop reminiscing but literally the juicy crab is just like the Juicy Crab is the seafood spot of Atlanta. If your girl likes seafood, you gotta take her here. You have to take her here. What are you doing? If you do not take her here, you're crazy. I'm sorry. Like, this is the best seafood spot in Atlanta. They have so many different locations. Downtown, McDonald's. It's a lot of locations. You gotta look them up. But they're everywhere. Literally everywhere. You know, they have crab, shrimp, scrawfish. <laughs> Crab, shrimp, crawfish, lobster, wings, it's just fried shrimp, everything. They literally have everything there, almost everything. Mussels, it's so good. If y'all wanna know my order, cause I always get the same thing all the time. I get one pound of the snow crab, medium with the juicy special. They have like different levels of spice and stuff and like different flavors, but I always get the juicy special. It's a combination of all the flavors i just had to plug that in really quick if y'all like need an idea of what to get it's so good you can't go wrong it can be a little spicy sometimes so maybe get the mild but for the most part i usually always get medium this next spot is located in downtown atlanta and it is the starlight drive-in theater self-explanatory is a driving theater of course you go you drive your little car you go down and then open your trunk you guys lay down back there and just watch the movie bring your own little snacks very cost efficient for you brokies out there i'm just kidding i'm joking i'm joking but honestly it is very affordable it's 20 dollars per car so if you're on like a little budget and you know kind of spent already too much this week and you got one last thing you want to do definitely take her to the drive-in theater when it's not raining because it'd be raining a lot down here sometimes i went there a lot last year and like most of the time, you're really not gonna go for the movie. You're really going just to like spend time with your person. Cause sometimes, I don't know, them um, thingies, they're, they're big, like the screens are huge, but 
of course the quality is like different it's not an actual theater so like don't go there trying to watch a really good movie if you're really trying to like enjoy it i would say just go there just like spend time with your girl and stuff and yeah what are we at number eight yeah so number eight is sip and paint you can't go wrong with sip and paint first of all i love to go on a little sip and paint date because i want to know where your creativity skills is at so, like i want to see like how creative a person is like are they a good painter like can you paint maybe you might discover some new talent i went to the painting with a twist and i gotta say i feel like they're one of the best in atlanta i had researched a couple other spots but this one it's like every event that they have and they have a lot of events per month every event that they have is different it's completely different it's so creative it's so pretty too like their designs are pretty as fuck okay the last one i went to it was a king and queen type of thing and i liked it but even like they have girls night stuff where like you'll draw like maybe a glass of wine or like you'll draw a woman in a dress or you'll draw like, the eiffel tower like just I don't know why I pointed over there like this, an Eiffel Tower. But it's just like so many different ideas they have and they go through the instructions a little fast. I'm not gonna lie, a little fast, you gotta catch on. But it was super fun, super fun and affordable for the most part. I think it was like 30, $30 per person or something like that. But yeah, definitely recommend Sip and Paint. You guys should just talk to your boo, sip some wine and it is BYOB, so BYOB, but they have a lot of different locations as well. I think they have like three or four different locations. So yeah, sip and paint, take her to a sip and paint. <laughs> Next up is Colony Square. So Colony Square is kind of a broad place, but there is literally so much to do. If you just drove there and was just like, we're gonna find something to do here, you're gonna find something to do. Because one thing about it, so Colony Square, it has like Saints and Council, which is a really nice restaurant. It also has JoJo's Beloved, which is a 70s retro bar. I've always wanted to go there, but I have yet to go. But there is a little, it's not even a little area. It's literally the indoor area to Colony Square that you walk inside and it's a whole freaking bar with restaurants all around it. Like literally if you just need some time to think of what to do or like pick another place on my list you can go sit at the bar you know grab something to eat chill it's like it's literally just so bomb and it was my first time going there last week i've been to colony square so many times but being inside and sitting at the bar i was like this is a whole new world i no seriously like i could not believe i had never been in there i always thought it was just a little random indoor area like nothing special no y'all gotta go there you got to go there even if you go alone take yourself on a little date it's so nice like so freaking nice and also i pick theater is located there as well so yeah it's just so much to do right there and last but not least on this list we have the rooftop loa I had been dying to go here. I kept seeing it everywhere on TikTok. I was like, yo, I have to go here. I have to go. So I ended up going and um, it was cool. I went like later on at night. So it was like pretty dark. I know in the video, y'all gonna be like, well, what is this? But it is so big, it is huge. They got three floors and a pool. So nice, but I was only there briefly. So I didn't get to try out any of their food or their drinks unfortunately but regardless you guys need to check out the rooftop loa like it is so cute and maybe this is more of like a girls type of thing but it, no i saw some couples there too it's a lot of couples chilling i went you know in my couple so yeah i would definitely recommend going there an honorable mention though before i close out this video is the garden room the garden room is so cute i'm sorry not to be like crazy and dramatic but it's so cute i've never been there though so i didn't want to add it to the list officially because i can't really give y'all like a review of what it's like but y'all it is so cute you gotta check it out 
got to check it out look it up on like tiktok or something so yeah that is the list of 10 cute date night ideas that you can do in atlanta so let me know what you guys think about this video if it helped you out leave a comment below if you guys been to this places before and you have like a different opinion let us know you know put us on but i mean for me i haven't had a problem with any of these places so yeah that's just my experience but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to stay tuned for more i will see you in my next one